everyone. Welcome back to Making Art with Mrs. Gordon. Today, we will be making this African horizon. My canvas actually came in the color black, but you can also grab a white canvas and paint it black. And the size that you could get is 11 by 14 or 16 by 20. The supplies that I used are brushes. I use multiple different sizes. I used a cup of water, paper towels to keep my brushes clean, and a plate of paint. I use the colors yellow, red, black, white, and gold. Gold, I wasn't so sure I was gonna use, but then I decided I was definitely gonna use it later in the video. I also have these paint pens that I actually did not use, but I kept them close by just in case. So we're gonna go ahead and dive in and start painting this continent, Africa. We are gonna create a somewhat of a sunset. So first thing I'm doing is rinsing off my brush, making sure any residue from last time that I painted, any paint that's on it is rinsed out of the bristles. I'm starting with red and I'm gonna start painting the top of my continent red and then I'm gonna work my way down to uh, orange and then to yellow. So you'll notice that I'll start with red and then I'll start adding yellow to my brush to kind of get uh, um, to mix the two colors so it starts to turn orange. And then the further I get down to the bottom of the continent, I'll start adding just pure yellow so it'll be very yellow. You'll also notice that I actually have to do more than one layer because the first time I put down all my colors, the black of the canvas still showed through uh, a lot. So I did do one more layer just to make sure that it wasn't as transparent. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna speed up the video and let you watch. Feel free to pause um, and if you're following along, if it's going too fast for you. After you finish the background, your next step is to put in the sun. You can use anything that's circular, a cup, um, a roll of tape. Just make sure whatever you use, it's the exact size you would like it to be. I'm actually gonna use a top to a candle and I'm gonna put it right in the center of my continent. So you'll notice that I take that top I put it right in the middle and notice it's circular and it's actually a pretty big circle. So you have to decide how large you want yours, how large you would like yours to be. I put it right in the middle and with my pencil, I'm gonna trace around that circle. Thank you. 
when I'm done tracing it, you'll notice that you probably won't see the actual lines because it didn't really draw into the paint. It was still a little too damp, but it did leave an impression in it so I could still see it. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up one of my larger brushes, going to make sure it's clean, rinsing it off first. And for my sun, I'm going to mix together two colors, yellow and white. So I grabbed a scoop of white, a scoop of yellow, making sure not to grab any of that red. And I'm making a very light yellow. Now you can decide if you want your sun to be a light yellow, or if you want it to be a light orange, or if you want it to be dark, whatever you would prefer. Do make sure though you add a little bit of white to it so it's very opaque and it shows on top of your colorful background. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this part and then we'll continue to the next steps. putting in the sun I'm going to rinse off my brush as you see on camera now and I'm gonna go ahead and start putting in the ground I'm thinking I'll I'm actually gonna start with a smaller brush but you'll notice that as I'm painting I'm gonna switch back to the brush I just cleaned and I'm gonna use the color black to put in my ground so I'm grabbing my smallest brush and I'm grabbing the color black and again um, and I will switch back to that larger brush because I felt like it covered air, a little bit more area and the control of it was better. As I was painting, I just noticed I just could not control this brush very well on top of the paint that was already on the canvas. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up really quick. I'm just putting in the black, which is the ground, and then I will show you the next step after that. done putting in the ground I'm I went ahead and cleaned off my brushes and now I'm going to switch to one of my small brushes and I'm actually going to add a gold outline to the continent this is where I decided I was actually going to use that color gold and I'm really glad I did because it really gave it a really nice finished look so you'll notice I'm just outlining the continent with the color gold taking my time as I go around the edges and when you're doing this, if you decide to do the step, just make sure you take your time. If you make a mistake, you can always go back with your black paint to clean up any mistakes that you may have made. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this. You can watch and then we will proceed to the final steps.
Now that I'm done outlining my continent, I'm cleaning off my brush and I'm gonna use that same brush to create the tree that sits in the center of my continent. One thing I wanna mention before I start painting, I will be using the color black for this step. And I want to mention, as you're making your tree, you wanna make sure the trunk of the tree is the largest part. The trunk is the widest, and as you work your way up the tree and the more branches you add, the tree should get thinner and thinner toward the top. So the trees are heavier at the bottom, thinner at top, up top. And you'll notice first I'll start off with just a line kind of guiding me. But as I continue, I will thicken up that line and add more and more branches. So I'm going to let it play. And as I do different steps, I'll come in and just explain things as I go along. I'm putting in my branches I started to test out different brushes you'll notice on my napkin right now I'm grabbing different brushes taking the black testing them out to see which one makes the best leaves that uh, are the ones I prefer the most I end up using my fan brush and I use that to create the leaves to give that look of the tree that I was looking for I felt like this one really represented um, some of the trees I had seen online when I was looking at different um, examples of of trees in the safari. You'll also notice I'm adding more branches because once I put in my leaves, I noticed it felt a little empty. So I wanted a few more leaves, so I needed a few more branches to make that happen. So I'm quickly putting in a few branches, keeping them thin since they're higher up, and I'm adding in more leaves to make my tree more full. Once I'm done putting in my leaves, you'll notice that I'm putting in little uh, wavy lines, kind of like little M's all around, which is basically my birds. And I put in a few little vertical lines to create grass. You can do that step or you can do something different. It's up to you. Now that I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and rinse off my brush. And that was actually my final step. How do you like the painting? I hope the one you're creating at home comes out even better than mine. But before we can consider this done, we want to make sure that we sign our work. So I'm rinsed, I did rinse off my brush and I'm grabbing the gold paint just to kind of go with the painting and I'm signing my name in the right hand corner. You always want to sign your work because you want to take credit for your beautiful designs. And I want to thank you so much for tuning in this week. And I hope you enjoyed yourself and thank you so much for making art with Mrs. Gordon.